With the new improved 3D pen tool, it is now possible to draw lines off the avatar. Holding Shift allows for the pen to draw straight lines. The length of the lines may be displayed by right-clicking and selecting Show Hide Length. To begin to draw off the avatar and draw lines in 3D space, use the hotkey P. You can hold Control to create curve points while drawing lines. With the Edit 3D Pen tool, the lines and curves may be adjusted as desired. It is good to separate the pattern pieces with lines to create patterns that may be sewn together later. If desired, the D hotkey will show how far the created point is from the avatar. Here, the line starts attached to the avatar, and then with hotkey P, the line can continue to be built in 3D space. Arrange the curves and points using the Edit 3D Pen tool. Right-click on a point if you want to delete it. Right-click on a line to create a curve point. Once the patterns look as desired, use the Flatten tool to create them. Arranging the patterns in the 2D space is a good practice in order to see where the sewing relationships will be. These two patterns do not need to be separate, so they can be merged. Use the Segment Sewing Tool and the Free Sewing Tools to sew the garment together. Once one side is complete, clone the patterns using Symmetric Pattern with Sewing for the other side. Sew the two sides together. Simulate and check your garment. Keep topology after auto fitting. With new improvements to the auto topology tool, now a garment may be refitted and resized to fit another avatar while retaining the same topology, including point count and vertex order. To start, load an avatar from the library. Next, load a garment from the library. From the display menu, under Environment, choose Show Statistics. In the bottom left corner of the screen, the statistics are displayed. Note that this garment has 3,676 vertices. Next, replace the avatar with a child avatar. You can switch the garment rendering style to wireframe, if desired, to see that while the garment after auto-fitting will change shape, the topology will remain the same. Select auto-fitting and then select Maintain Topology. When the garment is refitted to the new avatar, you can see that the vertex count is unchanged. You can also use this on your custom avatars.
In the avatar editor, make sure to set up a fitting suit on your imported avatar. To avoid an error saying the auto fitting cannot proceed, make sure to first simulate the garment on the previous avatar. Provided a quick simulation is done between refittings, the garment may be refitted to multiple avatars. The vertex order is also maintained when auto-fitting. Here, the three refitted shirts are exported as separate objects. In another software package, they can be morphed or blend-shaped without any errors. Pattern Drafter Easily create your first pattern within Marvelous Designer using either measurement points or your flat sketches. Click the 2D Pattern tab, then the Pattern Drafter in the top menu. Choose the type of shirt style. Currently, only T-shirt is available, but more styles will be coming soon. Then, change the Select drop-down to either Set In, Raglan, or Drop Shoulder. From there, you will then see your general measurements populate below. You have three different options for how you want to view and adjust your measurements for your patterns. The general option will give you a complete list of the most commonly used points of measure for that style. The simple option will give you the most commonly used points of measure for simple editing of patterns. The custom option will automatically adjust when you select your own measurement list and customize to your preference. You can choose what garment patterns will be created by clicking the eye icon. You can also switch between symmetry and half symmetry. The show all measurement icon shows what measurements are hidden per type of pattern. Click the setting icon to view the full list of measurements. Use the checkbox to show or hide items as needed. Once setup is complete, click the exit button to apply changes. Enter your pattern measurement values. You can return each measurement to its original value by clicking the reset button for each measurement type. Certain measurements include a total length option to input the full front and back circumference. Certain measurements also include drop-down options, as they are commonly taken from different areas of the pattern. You can view all inactive measurements in each section by clicking the Show All Measurements icon. Press the Create button to confirm the garment creation in the 2D and 3D window. AI Pattern Drafter Beta Using a sketch, Marvelous Designer will automatically generate measurements to create a drafted pattern for you. Click the AI Pattern Drafter Beta button on the top right of the Pattern Drafter. Generate a background image to be composited by entering prompts or upload it directly. Select the garment type and write in your sketch idea. Make sure to add in as many descriptive words as possible. If you want to emphasize something, place it in brackets. At this time, there is only t-shirts. There will be more coming soon. Listing the desired words rather than long descriptive sentences can generate more effective results. Clicking keyword suggestions will show example keywords to help with generating your prompt. Even if the same prompts are used, the AI face image is created anew each time. Thus, clicking the Maintain Prompt button may update the prompts while preserving the existing results as much as possible. The results may differ from the existing ones depending on the addition or change of the prompts. Clicking the Random Prompt button will randomly add sample prompts to the text prompt box. Click the Generate button to create an image Clicking the Clear button will clear anything that was written to restart. 
click the Upload button to load a face image that fits the following guidelines. A schematic image of the garment with black lines on a white background is highly recommended to ensure the highest quality of the AI pattern. Ensure the image shows the garment only. This process can be replicated until you get the desired outcome. Your image history can be found on the right side of the window. Soft Body for Custom Avatars now works with custom avatars without skeletons. This includes simple inhuman shapes and human avatars without rigs. OBJ and FBX file types are supported using SoftBody for custom avatars. Import an OBJ or FBX avatar into the scene. We are using file import OBJ, then confirming the avatar to use. Note that there should be no holes or self-intersections in your imported avatars. To check your avatar, you can use the 3D display window avatar rendering style and select the translucent surface option or show wireframe to preview any potential issues. Import a garment that fits your avatar or make a garment for the avatar. For example, we will use this pre-made project. To turn on the soft body option, select the avatar, go to the property editor, under surface will be soft body simulation. Make sure to select CPU simulation, then turn on simulation. In this example, we will lower the soft body stiffness value to 6,500 and speed up the video so we can see the results. You can now apply soft body to simple shapes. This example uses a default shape avatar file. Using the new library button, selecting the avatar folder, then a shape to import. Make sure your shape has no holes or intersections. You can check with the 3D display window. Select avatar display options then Translucent Avatar. You can also turn on Mesh View to more easily inspect for holes. Create a fabric rectangle. Place it on the avatar. Simulate with Spacebar. Here, we are using segment sewing to attach the two ends. In this example, the particle distance is 10, then we apply strengthening for both visual contrast and stability. Select the avatar mesh and turn on the soft body simulation in the property editor. Make sure to use CPU simulation, then turn on simulation. Making the soft body stiffness the lowest value at 5000, we can see how the avatar reacts. Troubleshooting your mesh. You will see an error message if your avatar has intersections or holes in the mesh body. In this example, we have a file that intentionally has both holes and intersections, following the normal steps by importing an avatar into the scene. Here we select the example OBJ that will give an error message for soft body simulation. For this example, we will add a rectangle of fabric into the scene since it is needed to activate the soft body simulation features. Attempting to use soft body will get an error message stating which issues are present. We know this example should have both and it correctly states that there are both intersections and holes in this avatar mesh. If you click OK, the action will clear the notification but will not activate soft body for the avatar. To preview the issues, toggle on the translucent avatar view and mesh to see that this does in fact have the intersections and holes. If we wanted to use this avatar with soft body simulation, we would need to remove the holes and intersections from the mesh body before importing it into Marvelous Designer. Up until now, creating denim washes has been a somewhat tedious process. But with our new preset, you can achieve this effect much faster and more easily. To use it, simply click on the material where you want to apply the wash effect. Then, under the type option, switch from fabric mat to denim. This preset gives you access to several wash styles. By default, it's set to unwashed, but you can select any wash type to begin customizing. In my case, I'll go with acid wash. As you can see, the wash effect has been applied successfully. Now we can fine tune the result using a few parameters. The first one is acid concentration. This is the only setting that changes depending on the wash type and it controls the intensity or opacity of the wash map. You can also adjust the blend mode, but I'll leave it on overlay. Absorbency adds a blur or spreading effect to the map. 
simulating how the wash seeps into the fabric. Cycle duration increases the brightness of the wash, mimicking how longer wash cycles create a shinier finish. Finally, seam abrasion enhances the puckering texture found along the garment seams. Feel free to experiment with these values to achieve the look you're going for. You can also change or scale the wash map by expanding the menu next to Wash Map. To scale it, open the Transformations menu and adjust the width or height values. As mentioned earlier, if you switch to a different wash effect, you'll see that the acid concentration option changes to something else, but it serves the same purpose. Try experimenting with the other wash styles to create a hyper-realistic result. Effortlessly create avatar poses using keywords or an image. Click Avatar AI Pose Generator Beta in the top menu. You can generate a pose image by entering prompts or by uploading a reference image. First, select the gender. Clicking on Keyword Suggestions will show suggested keywords to help complete your prompt. Click on Maintain Prompt. Even if the same prompts are used, the AI pose image is created anew each time. Thus, clicking the Maintain Prompt button may update the prompts while preserving the existing results as much as possible. The results may differ from the existing ones depending on the addition or change of the prompts. Click on Random Prompt. Sample prompts are provided randomly. Listing the desired words rather than long descriptive sentences can generate more effective results. Then enter your prompt. Click the Generate button to generate the pose based on your image. It may take a while to create when there are many users at the same time. Switch from the Prompt tab to the Image tab. The image displayed in the background is a reference for what pose images to use. Click the Upload button to load a pose image that fits the following guidelines. A full body image from head to toe is highly recommended to ensure the highest quality of the AI pose. Click the Save button to save the generated pose as the POSS file. You can now apply it to your chosen avatar. You can adjust the pose after generating by clicking the avatar display and selecting Show Avatar Joints. You can also use the shortcut Shift plus X 